My sister says you can only get gonorrhea and chlamydia and stuff like that from sex sex, not oral sex. So if you go on a date with a guy that seems kind of skeezy, but also kind of dirty hot, you can let him go down on you without having to worry about it. Oral sex isn't necessarily safe sex. You can still get an infection if you go down on someone or somebody goes down on you, especially if you have an open sore or bleeding gums. So to better protect yourself, use a condom or a dental dam. My ex-boyfriend said he couldn't use condoms because he's allergic to latex. Which is totally true. He blew up a bunch of balloons for his cousin's birthday party once, and his nose started running like a faucet. And that was just his nose. So, you know, ew. So, true latex allergies are quite rare. But up to about six in a hundred people can have a latex allergy. For those who are latex allergic, there are some great non-latex condom alternatives. There are synthetic options that are good at preventing pregnancy and infection. And there's also the natural lambskin option, which prevents pregnancy really well, but doesn't really protect us from infection. So if you have a latex allergy, when you go into the pharmacy, look for your non-latex condoms and make the right choice. My boyfriend told me it's impossible to get pregnant if he pulls out before he comes. So we don't need to use birth control. It's worked so far, so maybe he is right. You pulled out, right? Uh, yeah. Impossible is a pretty strong word, but actually pulling out or withdrawal is considered to be a method. It's not a great method, but it's a method. Using an IUD or something more effective would be better, but if you do use withdrawal, pulling out every single time is the key to making it more effective. I can't say I'm a huge fan of pap smears. Your doctor's all, Just put your feet in the stirrups and try to relax. No, no, dude. You put your feet in the stirrups and try to relax. But at least when it's over, I know I'm all clear for STDs. Because they're testing you for everything, right? <laughs> So, nobody is a huge fan of pap smears. But pap smears are a specific test designed to screen for early cervical cancer. They do not test for infection. So the best thing to do is talk to your doctor about your concerns so that you guys together can figure out exactly what tests you need to get yourself the all clear.